Okay, so Pisces, hello. So you guys are the last sign, but you are never the least sign. And this is coming from a fellow Pisces sister right here. So this is your current status of your love life tarot reading, Pisces. Please remember to give this tarot reading a like, especially if it resonates with you. And comment down below about your situation if you want to. Because you know I always read your comments and stuff. <laughs> I, I read all of them. The rude ones, the ones that are nice, nasty, are my faves. <laughs> it reminds me of back home. <laughs> like, I never left. Oh, wait, I'm still there. So, yeah, feel free to comment down below, you guys. Just joking. And then also subscribe to the channel if that's something that you've been thinking about and doing. Um, don't ring the bell, if, especially if you don't want to be notified every day. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. <laughs> I have a lot to say. All right, so... Pisces, I'm gonna just jazz on in there, okay? Um, I did wanna, I, I guess not. Okay, so we're gonna get started. Ooh, Pisces, that's why they wanted y'all last. You guys are, ooh, you guys are about to be in power. Ooh, what's Putin's sign? <laughs> I have nothing to say right now, but um, you guys, I, and you know I've been keeping that to myself. It hasn't really been a situation where somebody, you know, they got gotten up or they got, you know what I'm saying, they got caught up in a crazy way and everybody has a million questions. It's been a minute since that happened, so that's why I haven't done those readings. I wouldn't do that for Ukraine and them. But here's what it is, you guys wouldn't do that. They don't have homes, you know, that's devastating. <laughs> that's devastating. Um, but here's what it is, you guys. Um, somebody tried to trap you in fear <laughs> and what it is is like you're just realizing how they did it and stuff and it's like a challenge for you because you need to focus on it because I feel like a lot of you guys you just want to move on and be in your good life and be happy and stuff but you need to understand how these niggas did it so you can fully break out of being trapped in fear okay so you guys are stepping into your power but I want to see how you was trapped in fear your perspective as well as waiting you guys were you guys had a fear around investing and seeing a situation from your own perspective it's like like you would let other people tell you about it because you were deeply traumatized and wounded in the sphere of love and it's because whoever that person that person was that did that he died okay that person that did that to you like i feel like you guys you were traumatized when you you know the first guy you met you know first guy you fell in love with he hurt you so bad he died he contracted hiv aids he died i'm feeling that so strongly you guys are gonna get evidence and proof of your power of your love and how much god loves you a lot of people tried to make you feel like you was just a mistake and you were just a number but their mothers were on birth control and their mothers weren't trying to get pregnant when they got pregnant you know what i'm saying wink wink so there were the mistake and they instead of dealing with the fact that they are a mistake their mother literally said you were a mistake right <laughs> You, they weren't an anchor bait. They weren't a gift. They weren't a gift. They're not a gifted child that has psychic senses and is an amazing singer and dancer. And if you just put her right in front of in front of the right Hollywood execs, you could, you know you could sit there and, and, and cross your feet for life and stuff like that and put your hands behind your head for life. This is not the kid that they gave birth to. A kid that's a liability. He's sick. He has AIDS and he was born with it. And he's just a, he's got fetal alcohol syndrome, which God bless. You know that's devastating. I have nothing bad to say about them, but he was just devastated. You know his mother was a druggie. His mother didn't care about her self or him and so that kind of person put that pain on you and made you feel like you were invisible and your feelings didn't matter this person that did that to you they died Ooh, they died they're dead you're gonna get confirmation about it this week over these next two weeks mm, mm, mm. a lot of you guys have a new beginning in love Ooh, and this new beginning in love is making you step into your power and a lot of things that want to be in the way a lot of people that want to be in the way they're getting gotten up you're about to see your power manifest in a very physical way. The people and situations around you, the way they're about to fall out your life is crazy. And the way you're about to get back in the flow is crazy. A lot of you guys, you just got back in your own flow. And because of that, a lot of niggas by you are getting devastated and thwarted down. So we're going to tune into the recent past really quick. If you look at the recent past, something very happy happened. And what it was is that you trusted your intuition. You went on it. You listened to it. And you had something very fucking exciting happen, which was a movement in love. You guys broke out of a... a um, a way of looking at life, a cycle in your love life that you were in, a full-blown, immaculate, multifaceted cycle that you were stuck in, you broke out of it in the recent past. And things started moving in your love life, and you're about to see how much it's been moving just now. I feel like you guys, you might not have any sort of confirmation, but Spirit gave you the confirmation in the recent past, and it's in the form of the sun, so you know that it's going to be really fucking good, okay? You guys were dealing with hella karmics. These karmics showed up because you have an amazing heart. 
These karmics showed up because you have an amazing heart, but you worry all the time. And because you worry all the time, um, they could come in and slide in and be around you and you might not even really notice them because you're always worried because these karmics, you probably were raised by karmics, you dealt, you have very close karmic friends from childhood and stuff, and they always made you worry and stuff. So you just always got accustomed to being in your worries. And that's why you were dealing with karmics. And these people split you up from your commitment. They taught you a lesson about commitment as well through them being karmic. So God bless them. But you're, you guys have some major abundance coming your way in the form of love because you have a new beginning in love. So who cares about these fuck ass karmics? Come on now. I don't care about them. I know you don't. I know if anybody doesn't care, couldn't care less like Brooke Island, it's Aquarius and Pisces. Aquarius and Pisces, they couldn't care less. And those are the people that when niggas devastate us down, they really think that they devastated and thwarted us into the ground. But in reality, we just couldn't care less. We're delusional. Like, aren't we delusional? I thought we was on mad drugs. I thought we was using drugs. I don't know. So you guys are about to get some payback, giving and receiving in love. You guys are about to start dealing with somebody in love that gives to you the way you give to them because you're facing yourself. You're confronting your shadow. That's what you're planning on doing, confronting your shadow when it comes to your interpretation about love. I feel like your schematic, your mind schematic about love is all fucked up. It's trash because when you was little, you was dealing with trash folks. And I feel like at some point you might have, you might have, um trap somebody in fear or got caught up in a situation that was all fear and projections and stuff like that because you didn't want to confront your projections about your third eye and you're confronting it you are confronting it that's what's on your mind so i feel like a lot of you guys you're about to have something come in through a weird fucking it's so unexplainable how it happened it's almost like by magic type shit yep and it's coming in because you guys are working on yourselves okay and this is a situation, um, somebody even, a Taurus Virgo Capricorn, a Cancer even, in your life that is coming back in or coming in, already offered you a new beginning in love that you just couldn't see, you don't believe, you don't see your worth, right? And um, this situation here is going to be working, okay? And, you know, it's because the situation is working and moving on. And because you guys are getting this payback, this given and, give and take in love that's even and fair that you even weren't getting before in the same dynamic or with other people but now you're getting it with this new person you need to know why the reason why that will never happen again with this new person but, or even with this person that you're reconciling with that you love and you're having a new beginning in love with um but you never had a problem with them really whoever this is you never had a problem with them you was just dealing with karmics karmics did everything they did everything to split you guys up because you guys didn't listen to them you guys didn't give them any attention you guys didn't pay them any mind so they just went ahead and threw some uh, fucking fireball in your situation. They they couldn't get in your head. They couldn't make you feel insecure about yourself. So they had to just split you up in any other way. You were just dealing with karmics. That's it. And so you're getting you're getting um, this because you're putting a dedicated effort into yourself, into loving yourself, into your own masterpieces, into safeguarding your mind from these karmics. And I feel like you guys already were doing that before. But there's never any need to fret because, you know, it doesn't matter. You know, sometimes these things happen so that spirit can get them out of your life. Sometimes you might just be closing your energy off to them and spirit could do one better for you. <laughs> you know, spirit can do one for you better and just get rid of them for you. You know, you might think that you just need to be nice or stay away from them and spirit could just get them arrested. Spirit could just get them caught up on their charges. And then you, they could really be a thing of the past, you know. You could really not be worried about them. I feel like you always, you also think about these folks because they always plot on you, okay? You guys are about to get the power to stay in your comfort zone and know that you never need to come out of your comfort zone in love. You never need to be worried or desperate in love. All right, so this week, there's not enough information at this point over these next two weeks for whatever situation that you're involved in, there's not enough information at this point. So be ob observant and be patient, okay? So spirit is offer ready to offer you guidance as well, Pisces, and whatever this is. Um, just feel free to ask spirit about whatever this is. So your power is coming back. You're taking back control to keep on moving forward, to be diligent and consistent, to keep on working on your connection and to be comfortable and safe, to feel comfortable and secure in your connection. You should never feel insecure in your connection because some rabid bitch with bipolar disorder is eyeing your man or some rabid dude with schizophrenia and, 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 and scoliosis and, and, and he has, um, he, he's dealing with sciatica and, and, and arthritis and he's just crazy. He's just insane. And so because he has your, his eyes on your person and he thinks your person has his eyes, her eyes or whatever eyes on them, you're not going to let that person bum rush you from your connection. You just going to stay right where you're at. It's not worthy of worrying about it. The circumstances you find yourself in is not worthy of the time you're spending worrying about it. Release it. All right. So I'll talk to you guys soon.